Gentleman yields. The gentlewoman from Massachusetts, Ms. Presley, is now recognized for five minutes. Thank you so much. Thank you, Secretary Yellen, for joining us today. I represent the Massachusetts 7th Congressional District, vibrant, diverse, dynamic, unequal. Uh, and I'm sure my colleagues have grown tired of my enumerating these damning statistics, but imagine how tired people are of actually living them. In a three-mile radius from Cambridge to Roxbury, median household income drops by $50,000. Federal Reserve uh, Bank of Boston, Federal Reserve of Boston rather, put out a color of wealth report which cites that the uh, average wealth for a black Boston family is $8, whereas for a white family, it is $250,000. So I'm going to use my time with you to discuss uh, an issue that is uh, paramount that we tackle. It's a national problem, and that is the racial wealth gap. The racial wealth gap in the United States is over $10 trillion. That's trillion with a T. Truly a shameful reality for the American economy. Secretary Yellen, do you agree that we have a colossal racial wealth gap in our country? Of course, you cited statistics that show how significant that is, and President Biden is committed to doing all that he possibly can, and I'm committed as well to take meaningful Thank steps. You. Thank you. And of course, we know that this racial wealth gap didn't just appear out of nowhere. Uh, black Americans in this country have been systematically stripped of our wealth. Uh, first, there was uh, nearly 250 years of enslavement, followed by a century of Jim Crow, segregation, economic exploitation, state-sanctioned violence. Uh, and to this day, uh, black Americans are still being excluded from and facing barriers to public programs that promote home ownership and higher education, along with uh, discriminatory home appraisals, persistent redlining. Only bold, transformative, precise economic policies can address the impact of compounded racism and exploitation. We are heading into uh, Juneteenth. Grateful that uh, that is now a federal holiday, uh, but policy is my love language. I believe we need federal reparations to close the racial wealth gap once and for all. Secretary Yellen, under your leadership, you have established a Treasury Advisory Committee on Racial Equity. This truly represents a historic opportunity to center racial justice in our economic agenda. Can you speak uh, to some top lines of the work of this committee? We formed, uh, as you said, T. Acre is an advisory committee to um, help us evaluate every area in which Treasury has responsibility where we need to um, recognize if discrimination may take place and we should be changing our policies um, to make Treasury itself more diverse and um, more responsive to be able to address structural racism. And, and thank you, Secretary um, Yellen. I'm running out of time. So I did want to just bring to your uh, attention, and I'm grateful for the work of the committee and look forward to learning more about that. But myself and Senator Cory Booker have introduced the American Opportunity Accounts Act if passed into law, this would represent the most ambitious federal effort to directly address wealth inequality. At birth, every child would receive $1,000 in a savings account managed by the Treasury Department. Children from low-income families receive deposits every year, and once they reach the age of 18, they can use the funds they have saved for specific purchases, purchase, purchases such as uh, buying a home, pursuing higher, higher education. Uh, this. Uh, there's growing momentum around the country for our baby bonds uh, legislation from Massachusetts, California, Connecticut, New York, Washington, D.C. Do you agree that the Treasury Department should further look into baby bonds as a tool to address wealth inequality in our country? Well, certainly this is a key priority of the Biden administration and uh, not just a Treasury matter, but um, I think it's a very constructive um, suggestion. As, as you know, President Biden has proposed many policies that would be complementary, including extending the child tax credit and making sure that it's refundable, Thank which you. did succeed in cutting poverty by 50 percent. 
Absolutely. Thank you, Secretary Yellen. I, I do see baby bonds as the kind of investments that will break cycles of generational poverty and systemic economic oppression and uh, put us one step towards closing the racial wealth gap. Thank you. Gentlelady yields. Gentleman from South Carolina, Mr. Norman.